前は一体何なんだ友達だ What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another Sindo Alice video here on For Misery Gaming. And today, guys, it's going to be a quick video, but there's a couple things I did want to bring up to you guys for some new rewards, the uh, Guild Grimoire system, and also a survey. So, first, let's talk about the Guild Grimoire system. So, you guys go into here. Uh, to completely verify how it works, I wanted to wait a day or so before saying anything because I wasn't sure about how it all works there was a little i was a little confused from the jp notes but basically what you guys have here you go to your item list you guys can see here that these are all the things that the entire guild has access to in the box so you guys have two of each of your weapons you guys have your decent sack your hefty sack your upgrade swords for a s s r upgrade tablets for b a s and s r and then the beast oil the plant mucus, the fresh serpent blood, and the fresh dragon blood. So how this works is everything except for the weapons, once they're gone, they're gone. So basically, right now for like bad rewards is like kind of the gold, the upgrade A, the upgrade B for the tablet, and then the beast oils and the plant mucus. I say they're kind of like the kind of the crap rewards. So we still have a lot of the nightmare level one, level twos that our guild has to get. Um, there still is 22 fresh dragon bloods. I believe there was 25 total, um, possibly 30, but I think it was 25. Um, so at any rate, that's how that works. Now, when you do pull a weapon, for instance, if I were to pull this black iron sword here, I will have the option to keep it for myself. And then there will be one black iron sword left in the pool or you can trade in for 30 gems. Now, personally, my opinion on these weapons for the supports, like the violin here, it's decent because it does have a tier four skill. Um, so the instrument, the book, once again, decent because it has support boon one and a tier three. Um, I believe the tier three does one to two enemies. So the fact that it is a multi-target tier three, um, you know, possibly, and then has support boon one. This one's decent. Um, now, stat wise, on all of these are going to be poor. Uh, then the Black Iron Staff has, uh, I believe, two allies, but it is a guarantee greatly two ally heal. So this one's actually pretty good as well. But the stat wise, guys, like we went over in the previous video a couple days ago, are very, very underwhelming. On top of that, they have an 18 cost. Now, where for supports, this isn't as bad because more than likely you're not going to have 20 support uh, legendary weapons on, unless you're a super, super whale, probably more of a whale than me, um, for playing a cleric, a sorcerer, or a minstrel. You probably are going to have still a lot of uh, evolved SR materials um, or weapons that you're going to be using in your grid. So for cost-wise, for supports, it's not as big a deal, but for DPS, it is a huge deal. Like me, for instance, I probably have like 25 to 28 legendary weapons, so I can't use them all. Like I'm, I think today I'm gonna be able to go to 18 legendaries and two SRs is like where my grid's gonna be today. Um, and then I'm, I'm at like, I'm at rank uh, 133, what was I at? 133, yeah, 133. So, that being said, guys, that's the thing to keep in mind for the DPS class is these are really not great. They're very stat underwhelming. Um, I don't believe any of the weapons here have Dauntless Courage. We have Replenish Magic in a Tier 3. We have in the Black Iron Spear with Mental Focus in a Tier 3. And what was the hammer? There isn't even a hammer. There is no hammer. There's only the spear and the sword. So that being said... Um, unless your DPS is severely underwhelming, you cannot max limit break these weapons. You can only get two copies. You can only get one limit break. So even then, to say to get them to eventually max limit break them, you're going to have to wait for these weapons to come back around again. And then even then, you're going to have to have them come back a second time. So you have a long, long time before you could even max limit break them to say the argument, well, if I max limit break them, their stats might be more on par with a gotcha level 80. So even then, you're still looking at, you know, a bad scenario for DPS. Now, if your DPS is like, you don't have enough, 
you need that spear for your half nightmare grid or you need your sword for your half nightmare grid or your spear grid or your sword grid whatever the case may be fine i get it but honestly if you have a maximum broken dauntless courage one uh natural s that is evolved to an sr probably going to be close to you know similar damage output as one of these swords to be honest uh simply the fact that you know the sword i think has a tier three if I'm not mistaken, on the Dauntless Courage 1, they typically have a Tier 3 skill, and these have Tier 3 skills. And if you have a max limit broken, uh, point stat-wise total, I believe they go up. Uh, I can actually check on my level 80 real fast uh, to show you guys if uh, what their point spread total is. So at level 80, Tier 3 Torch of Destruction with Dauntless Courage 1 goes up to about 3,000 stats. So it is, I think they're like 3,600, something like that, on the, the legendary ones. So you're losing about 600 stats, but you are getting Dauntless Courage 1. So that's the thing to keep in mind. Um, on top of that, your cost is 5 less, which is huge for your DPS grid. So that's the things to keep in mind for this um, for this gotcha event. Honestly, the what, what I want is the level 4 evolution materials and the enhanced materials for nightmares. That is my goal for this. Anytime I get a weapon, I'm for sure throwing it back in. Doesn't matter if it's a support or a DPS weapon, I'm gonna take 30 gems over that. So that being said, per day guys, if you win and you guys have 15 members competing, regardless of what tier of Apollo you're in, you're gonna get seven pulls on this gotcha. On top of whatever login rewards you get. Like for instance, today we get an extra 10 bloods so if you guys win today and you have 13 or more members show up for your fight, then you guys should be getting um, around nine pulls for this gotcha per guild member. So that being said, you could weigh two options. You could be kind of like the, the odd man and the guy in the guild and you want to save up all your bloods and pull on the last day to try to get a lot of the fodder stuff out of there. I personally just pull everything after Hollow and see what I get. I pulled one um, and then I got one like S Nightmare Evolution material. I think I got like one SR sword and I think I got uh, one of the level four Nightmare nightmare Evolution materials. So yesterday my pulls were pretty bad, but day one they were pretty good overall. So that is how the, that whole event works. Now to go into the next part of the new events, before we go into the survey to wrap up the video, we did get new items added into the clam event. So if you guys have not gotten to a hundred, a thousand uh, clams farm, uh, make sure you guys do that. If you get to about 100,000 claims, you should be able to buy out every single thing in the shop and you can officially be done with the event. And hopefully the rest of your guild will go through that. I do not recommend over farming the event, especially when there's nothing left to exchange. Yeah, you're helping your guild out, but it's really counterproductive for your personal account instead of doing, you know, getting, you know, evolution materials or gold, or if you're getting uh, grinding story, finishing story events, things like that, grinding rank EXP, all sorts of things else you could be doing besides just getting those exchange medals that you can't do anything with. So, but you guys can pick up three SR of the upgrade swords, three SR of the upgrade armors. You guys can get uh, three of the SR Coliseum gems for the main skill. Uh, and the, I'm sorry, two of the SR Coliseum gems, two of the SR support Coliseum gems, two of the SR story gems uh you can get uh, two of the book of destruction two of the book of opportunity which gives you guys more mastery points you guys can get 10 skip tickets so that's very very good i try to save these for when really, like i'm like i do my purification before i go to bed and if i'm just like super super exhausted i just want to burn my skip tickets on story uh and then just uh, get it done with so i don't have to stay up because we don't have auto repeat that's the kind of stay up hitting the button so uh, you guys can also get two Dragon Shackles, two of the level four Bird Masks, and then you guys can also get uh, your story, your uh, 100 Twilight Crystals. So that is pretty huge. We got an additional one of the crystals from the event, so that's really good. So that is everything for that. Next, if you guys go into your notice here, you guys go into your um, our update for today, Sino Alice Survey 1. You guys go through here, complete your survey, and you're going to get 30 Twilight Crystals as thanks after they have received the surveys. So it looks like the survey period is till the 3rd of September. So technically, they could wait until after the 3rd of September to give you your 30 gems. So if you guys don't get them right away, I haven't gotten mine yet. Don't be like, feel like you got bamboozled or anything that like, you're not going to get your gems. Oh, no. 
But if you guys go to your survey here, you're just gonna pull up Google Docs. What is cool is you don't even have to have your um, ID copy. You're just gonna automatically fill it in and then you just go through and select all this stuff. Should take you about two minutes to do everything and then just on certain things, when you select something, um, Jesus Christ, my funky's blown up. Oh, okay, stop. <laughs> um, you will have to put in answers for certain feedback. So you will have to elaborate a little bit on your answers for some things, like see right there, go in detail what you pick for question nine, things like that. So it will take you probably about two to three minutes to complete this, but for 30 crystals for a little bit of your time and to hopefully optimize Sinoalis more for future content of your overall opinion and feedback, it is definitely worth the time to you guys. So. That is going to be it. Just a quick, quick little uh, update. I actually didn't even know they updated the clam shop until today. So I was like, you know what? There's that to talk about. There's the uh, Guild Grimoire um, event that I haven't really talked about yet that I wanted to bring up to everybody so they are clear on how it works and the benefits and drawbacks of those weapons. And also the survey was a really cool okay, kind of icing off the cake to talk about as well. So that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If it was helpful to you guys, if you guys learned anything, make sure you guys drop a like in the comment section. Drop a like and a comment in the comment section down below if this video was helpful to you guys um, and share it out with all your friends that play Sino Alice and all that other mobile gaming content, all that good stuff. And hit that subscribe button if you guys are new so you do not miss the next Sino Alice or mobile gaming content we drop here on the channel. Ring that bell so you are first notified when a new video does drop since YouTube sometimes won't recommend our videos. So great way to stay up on what we're doing in our daily lives for these mobile games. And I hope you guys have an awesome day wherever you are. Be safe out there. And we'll see you guys in the next Sino Alice.